Barcelona were beaten finalists last year, going down to Lyon. They are looking to go one better this time around. And is tonight the night they book their place in the quarterfinals of the 2023 UEFA Women's Champions League. A point here against Benfica would be enough for Jonathan Giraldez's side to reach the knockout stages. Alex not to cross. Pina, good footwork. Gets the ball in. Sinigorcevic can't convert. Jace on the follow-up. And somehow do they get it clear? It's a goal mouth scramble, but the whistle's gone. And the referee comes to Benfica's rescue. They've taken it short. Bon Mati floating it into the danger zone, and that's the opening goal. Hasn't taken long, has it? Barcelona up and running. Benfica undone by a set piece inside the opening seven minutes. They took it short, they caught the home side napping. Bon Mati's ball in was perfectly placed onto the penalty spot. And the header was perfectly placed as well. Out of the reach. Paredes with the searching ball, knocked into the path of Patry. And there's a chance for Bon Mati, and Costa somehow has kept it at bay, not once but twice, still not fully cleared by the home side. Paletta's in the way, Lacasse tidying up. The Benfica goal living a charmed life. Barcelona knocking at the door. That's given away cheaply to Bronze. Bronze finds Pina, and Pina finds the bottom corner. And Barcelona do have their second goal before half-time. Claudio Pina with a neat finish. And that surely deflates Benfica. Well, it was just uh, given away there to Lucy Bronze, who was able to show good strength. And then when it fell on the edge of the area, a couple of touches, she was able to dig it out from underneath her feet. And Claudia Pina with a perfectly placed finish into the bottom corner. Costa, the keeper, rooted. Vittoria. Oh, now, Chase is going to get there ahead of Sayitza at the start of the second half. She's just sent it wide. Well, that was an early opportunity to put the game to bed. Nagorcevic takes a couple of touches, lays it short to Walsh. Bon Mati, shooting opportunity, and that is the third goal for Barcelona. They have come racing out of the blocks in the second half. Benfica's plans for the second half up in smoke. It was Walsh's ball, it was a decent first touch by Bon Mati. It was drilled into her by Kira Walsh. She brought it under control. And then a composed finish, pass Costa, 3-0. Here is Jace. Mati, Sinigorcevic takes it in her stride, and that is a wonderful finish. Barcelona beginning to enjoy themselves now in this second half. Anna Maria Sinigorcevic gets in on the act. Once again, Bon Mati at the heart of it. She gets an assist, playing it into the path of Anna Maria Sinigorcevic. Took a deflection, a lovely first touch, and how about that for a second? This new look Champions League is designed to give clubs like Benfica more minutes against the elite. And they pull one back. That's a brilliant effort. An absolutely belting goal. In the scheme of things, it might not mean much. But Benfica have something to show for their efforts, and Silva has scored an absolute bullet. This time, the architects of their own downfall. Benfica, fast, alert, first to the ball. And when it came to Silva, she knew exactly what she was doing. Sandra Panios was left... clasping it air. Squad rotation 
has been and will continue to be important for Jonathan Morales. As Paralelo tries that luck. Substitute looking to strike early. Another one of those who have recently come on, waiting for it. And there is the free header. And Costa tips this one over. Pauletta, the two number 21s, runs away from Walsh. Now, is that a penalty? The referee says yes. Lacasse going to ground. She was clearly onside. Rolfo was the wrong side of her. She let Lacasse get in behind and nudge in the back. Against Panios. And the substitute sees her penalty saved. Here's Enyen. Villamela. Paruelo. In space. And that is an own goal from Anise Etza. It goes from bad to worse for the home side. Nothing she could do about it. It was parried into her path by Costa. Andrea Faria coming on for Benfica. It will be a lost cause. Paruelo making things happen, forcing the save from Costa into the path of Seitza, who just couldn't react quickly enough. Well, she's still full of running. She's up there on her own. Chloe Lacasse going alone, and that is a really fine goal. Leon, Leon was giving chase a really composed run, a couple of touches away from the defender, and then a point, pinpoint finish. She had the pace, she had the skill, she had the composure. Surely she was being pulled back. Advantage being played, and it could be to Barcelona's advantage because Caldente is in behind. She goes around the keeper. There are half-hearted appeals for a penalty. Caldente can finish it off and does. On the stroke of 90 minutes, Barcelona get their sixth. Scoreline suggests. Caldente was in behind Valeria. She went around the keeper was brought down, play continued, Jace with good composure, good awareness. And how about that for a finish? Mariona Caldente taking no prisoners, lashing that one into the top corner. Is there one last chance? Claims of hand, ball against Rolfo, and that is going to be another penalty. Reisler missed from the spot midway through the second half. Valeria's ball in, in the arm of Rolfo. Don't think she can have two. Can she save another from another Brazilian? Because it is Ana Vitoria who has the responsibility this time around. And she saved it again. Two penalty saves for Sandra Panios. And that is the final kick of what has been a thoroughly entertaining match. Barcelona have hit Benfica for 15 goals in their two matches in the group. It's a victory that guarantees Barcelona last year's beaten finalists a place in the quarterfinals.